Praise be to God, the cowboy priest here, reporting from the wilderness. And I wanted to talk to you today about something that is pressing and very important. And that's on the dignity of work. And why is that? Well, from the first time that humanity fell, that's the original sin, the Lord told to them, no longer will you eat freely from the produce of the land because at that time everything was perfect so there was no such thing as work everything was in harmony and free and blessed if you want to call it like that but when the rift came to creation because of the sin of the man and the woman that's why the lord told to the man by the sweat of your brow you will bring forth the produce of the land. And there was a mandate to work. And that's why sometimes you'll notice whenever we do work and we finish and we see the work that we've done, we, we feel good about it. And that's because it is in conformity to the divine mandate. Beautiful. Meaning to say like when we do like that, we're doing the will of God and we feel we're filled with the Holy Spirit. We've, we're able to sense, perceive the, the Holy Spirit welling up within us. We're happy. And uh, it's necessary to work. As the sacred author said, if you do not work, you should not eat. And that's true. And these times it's become, it's become uh, paralyzing to our culture, to our society, and to the world uh, that people aren't working. It's very detrimental, and it's detrimental not only in that way, but to the individual person, like psychologically, uh, you know, we become depressed, and all kinds of other problems come from that. And that's why I encourage you to go back to work, and to work hard, and the ones who are also in on it are these socialists and communists because they know that that's always how they operate. They propose to create a utopian society where everything is taken care of, but actually what they do is barely pacify the human person and then they're able to oppress them and dominate them or to enslave the human person. And that's classic socialism, classic communism. They're able to, to put the people down like that and control them. And that's not the way we roll in the U.S. You know, we are cowboys in the sense that we roll up our sleeves and we work. That's always been the blessing of the United States of America, that we have a strong work ethic. And that's why I encourage you to return to that. And by that, we can endure anything. When we look back at history, like in the time of the Great Depression, well, they worked hard and they fought through it and they were happy people. You know, when I was in a missionary, I was a missionary all over the world for seven years. And, and I recognized, like, for example, when I was in the Philippines, I was with the poorest of the poor. And to tell you the truth, even though they didn't have a penny to their name, they were happy people and faithful people, and beautiful people, and they worked hard, and life was good, simple life. And that's why I'm telling you, don't be afraid. We can do that. We can do set our wills to, to be content and to work hard and to live in the blessing and light of God instead of all this oppression and depression, you know, that leads to every kind of, all kinds of violence and uneasiness and even to the ultimate uh, depression, which is suicide, and it's rampant all over the place. That's why people do drugs trying to escape from these things, but those things will never be the answer. You need to work hard to, to put it within your heart to, to comply to the first mandate of the Lord to humanity to work. I hope you can understand that. And I hope that in fact you do it because it's not too late. They would like us to think it's too late. They would like for us to, to be completely devoid of our, of our 
strength of spirit, but there's still a lot of spirit left in the heart of red-blooded Americans. And that's why I'm telling you, go to work. And in fact, it's following after the Lord. Like, for example, let's say, you know, people need to be served. You know, I see restaurants closed all the time. People want to go eat. They can't because nobody's working or this place is closed and that place is closed. That's ridiculous. That ain't how we roll in America. That ain't the spirit of the, of the United States of America. And that's why even in, in the sense of following after Christ, if you claim to be a Christian, follow after Christ who said, I came not to be served, but to serve and to lay down my life for others. And believe me, you'll find deep strength in that and happiness in your heart's desire. But you got to be the one to do it, to throw off these shackles of error and lies that the world pushes to us. Stop putting your hand out for a handout. <laughs> Stop putting your hand out for a handout and go to work. We love you a lot. Through the intercession of St. Joseph the Worker, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adios. Bye.